I'm here today with Ed Doyle from the Pima County Wastewater. We're at the Roger Road Outfall. We're going to show two different ways to do the temperature reading today. Uh, one from an outfall and the second one from a trough. So uh, today, as we uh, showed you in the PowerPoint, there are only two things that you can use, two different things to take temperature, either a glass thermometer or a resistance thermometer. And so we have here today a thermometer that uh, Pima County uses for its uh, temperature reading. And one of the things, as we showed in the PowerPoint, this is a partial immersion thermometer. And so it is only accurate when it is immersed into the sample up to that um, that far. If, uh, if you have a total immersion thermometer, it won't have that ring, and you would have to put the whole thermometer inside of the, the water, and then when you bring it up, it's not going to be out accurate. So we're, Ed's going to show us here how they do their sampling. Um, what's this little tag that's on the thermometer here? This tag is our correction factor. Thermometers are calibrated by our quality control department and it has a correction factor of negative 0.3. So when we read the thermometer, we have to subtract 0.3 degrees from it and that would be the temperature we would report. Okay. And so I saw that you have a sampling device here that you use for your outfall. Um, so describe to me how you take your samples here. We have a scoop with a cup on the end. We'll take the scoop, we'll dip it into the outfall three times rinsing it out and then we'll collect our sample we'll bring it up we'll take the thermometer place it into the scoop with the sample to the immersion line and we lay out for the temperature to stabilize and then we record that temperature and then we'll subtract our uh, correction factor and that's our reportable temperature okay well why don't you go ahead and get a sample first right now okay sure will So again, you put it up to that line. How long do you wait to, for it to stabilize? Usually, not long, less than a minute. It won't, take, it won't take long. What'll happen if we wait too long? Then it's just start going to either cool up or warm down to okay. the ambient temperature. Okay. And so, what when you're reading the thermometer, do you try to guess what it's going to be if it's between the lines, or do you? We're going to round up to the next line. Okay, or round up or round down, depending, depending on how far up it is. Okay. Different. All right. And so, um, this method requires that you take duplicates. How did, is that something you do down here? We duplicate. We do a duplicate once a week. Okay. Required. And what we'll do is um, I'll take the, this temperature, the initial one, and then when I do the duplicate, I'll repeat the process that I just did. I'll get a whole fresh new sample. Just like I did, I rinse it out three times and I'll get my sample and I'll take the temperature. That'll be my duplicate. Okay. Well, that's how you take a sample from an outfall with the cup. So we're going to move on now to your.